This slide shows the mesh quality recommendations for finite element analysis and computational fluid dynamics applications, and these guidelines can be changed to achieve more accurate results. Engineering simulations must start with the best possible mesh, because it affects the simulation's accuracy, convergence, and speed. The smaller elements in a finer mesh give results accurately in interested region. Adding more elements to a model adds computational expense, in solution time, memory, and more disk space. With consideration of this, let's start the main activity. Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to mesh a fluid volume of pipe T in ANSYS space claim. First step is geometry simplifications. We will remove external and internal fillets. Second step is fluid volume extraction. By closing these three regions give us the fluid flow volume inside the pipe T. Third step is blocking and do mesh. And fourth step is to achieve a mesh quality requirements. Let's open ANSYS space claim. Import pipe T geometry. Select external and internal face and press the delete button. Go to Prepare Ribbon. Select Volume Extraction Tool and follow the steps. Fluid Volume is created. You can suppress or delete this part. Now we will start meshing activity by clicking on Mesh Ribbon. If Mesh Ribbon is not there, please follow these steps. Please tick the mesh here. Click here to activate Mesh Tools. Select Physics. Add Body for Block Creation. Select Element Shape. Select Free Mesh Decomposition Method. Provide Element Size. Generate the mesh. You can see the mesh generation. Here, you can see blocking type. Turn on options and quality tools. You can select any mesh quality from the drop-down list. Let's check the mesh quality. See the element colors with respect to provided quality contour. You can check the elements by providing range. Now we will do some modifications. Turn off the mesh. Observe the vertices positions for splitting the block. 
You can pause the mesh update. We will rotate branch T vertices by 45 degree. To split the block, we need to rotate main branch T vertices by 45 degrees also. Perform the required operations. Now we will split the block. Select two vertices for edge split. Required split faces are created. Update mesh. Show mesh. Show mesh in range. In next step, we will define mapped mesh for all surfaces. Click on select face button. Select one face to see the impact on mesh. Pause auto update mesh. Select faces and update the mesh until all faces are converted in mapped faces. It seems that all faces are mapped. We will split the free blocks to two free blocks by selecting branch edges. Two free blocks are created. See the lower quality value of mesh elements. Next step is to convert these free blocks to mapped blocks. Two mapped blocks are created. Next step is to make inflation layers, create inflation layers to correctly capture the velocity and temperature gradients near no slip walls. Select both blocks and target faces. You can change the offset value. O-grid blocks are created. See the lower value. You can see the elements shape in each block to take decision on mesh controls.
provide size control and see the impact on mesh quality. Copy same parameters for parallel edges. Provide number of divisions. We will use bias factor to create fine elements near to wall and for the selected edge, the division size increases as per defined growth rate. Update mesh and check mesh quality. All mesh quality parameters are dependent to each other. If you control the single parameter to set the mesh in desired value, other mesh quality parameters will improve. You can improve bad elements by selecting any one mesh quality parameter. We will improve the quality of these bad elements. We will move each vertex near to this zone and will check the mesh quality. Select Move Tool. Follow the steps. This is how you can improve bad elements from the mesh model. Check elements in each block. Now we will check mesh quality as per CFD simulation recommendations. Check for orthogonal quality. Check for aspect ratio. Check for skewness. You will also like these videos. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe this channel to get more updates. Please provide your comment to know valuable suggestions to improve this channel.